raising awareness on the deadly violence in Sudan. People from across the state gathered in the capital to do just that and to show their support for the people of Sudan. Fox 47's Christiana Ford spoke with protesters to find out what they hope to accomplish. After violent protests in Sudan, people took to the streets again today in what social media is calling a millions march. Today, people from across Michigan came to the capital to stand in solidarity. Originally, I was born in Sudan. Banjur Musan moved to Lansing 19 years ago. He still has family in Sudan. He says he's heard troubling things, so he's protesting today. I get like calls and like texts sometimes where people don't have like food or don't have bread. For example, bread is what like kind of um, started this whole like I think uprising where there isn't adequate like um, food, especially bread. Banjur isn't alone. Musa Abdallah came all the way to the capital from Detroit to share his concerns. People like uh, getting. Uh, killed by the government uh, of Sudan. We have President al-Bashir, he been uh, president for 30 years. Tensions remain high in the country of Sudan after talks ended over who should lead the new governing body, a civilian or soldier. Protests were met by violence. Musab says that's a problem and he's worried about his family there. My dad is there, my mother, yeah. So you're worried about your daddy? Very. My mother too, yeah. Banjur says they just want to spread awareness about what's going on. I don't think a lot of people are aware of this uh, right now. If I can say one thing for the Lansing people to do is just be uh, in prayer and um, stand in solidarity with the people of Sudan. At the Capitol, Christiana Ford, Fox 47.